Hi guys and welcome to Unity tutorial of how to control material using C sharp script. Alright, so you can see the material they kinda like changing colors as you can see. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we'll put together one of these and you guys uh, should be able to do that as well. It's a very simple tutorial, so I'm going to stop it from playing. Let's go to file. And start a new scene entirely I'm gonna click on create and right there just right click on the project area let's select create script and this one I'm just gonna call it change color there we go now select change color and click on open It's coming up now. There we go. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let's get hold of our serialized function here. Serialized field, and this one is going to be color. And let's just call that F color. And F color equals, let's just say that color is going to be white. There. And the next one, I'm going to call it T color. That's from one particular color to another other color. So this one is going to be known as T color. So to a different color. And this color, let's change that. Let's say that is going to be maybe red there we go now the next thing we want to do is let's create a serialized field so that, uh, speed that we're going to be using so I'm going to actually float that speed let's say float speed and that is going to be equals 1f there we go now the next thing we want to do is let's create a new render that will render the whole process for us um, there we go i'm just gonna call that rend there now that that is done i want to come right in here and let's attach some component so it's so I'm gonna come in here rend equals get components and the component that I want you to get that is going to be renderer grab that paste that right in here there we go now to update this let's make that private let's say private void update so so in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say float t and t the base variable what I want it to do is to convert time to number so that the there will be smooth transition between the colors I'm going to say dot sign that is going to be time dot time we then multiply that by the speed and enter semicolon there the next thing we will do is we're going to say t plus equals one and t divided by two yeah okay now let's say vibe new color and this new color equals color dot invalid dot lip and the color that is going to be F color 
is very one comma t color and comma t there we go enter semicolon there so to get it to render now we will then say this very render here grab that that will be dot material dot color and that will be equals new color it's equals new color and that's it so i'm going to have to save that let's make sure there's no error save it first and uh, you guys can have a good look at the lines of code let's come down here okay let's make sure it is saved and let's see why do we have a one in here I'm gonna click on that okay say new keyword is not required let's see let's come down okay let's just change this I'm gonna grab this and just change it to render hopefully that error should be gone and change this as well all right okay that's fine that is fine now all right i'm going to make sure it's saved let's come in here save right and let's go straight to our editor okay it's now compiling all right it's finished compiling so i'm going to come right here you see the hierarchy Let's drop it down, select sphere here. There we go. I'm going to increase the size of that to about, let's go for 5 by 5 by 5. And I'm going to grab my scripts and just dump it on it. There we go. And that is it. It's officially assigned the colors that was uh, allocated. So if I run it now, take note of what's going to happen come run you see that look at it kind of like smooth you see that guys look at that okay just changing the color configuration in a very very smooth and up-to-date manner that's very good I like that so we can then I'm going to drag this first of all let's change the name I'm just gonna right click on it and just rename it or let's select it and come here let's give it a name I'm gonna call it player there we go I will now drag player and convert it to a prefab there I can now just assign player everywhere on my system look at that it's everywhere now let's make sure we can see it okay we can only see one all right bring this in a little bit yeah that's fine if i run it this is what you guys will see run there we go see that that's very good now let's add some more then we'll carry out some more adjustment to it so I'm going to now come right into inside my project here and uh, all sky free this is one of the material I got from all sky, all sky free I'm just going to dump that there to change the sky the other way is you can always go to window and select rendering select lighting and just change click on environment and change it that's another way out okay that's fine so let's add more material to it I mean more sphere to it just drag that in and a little bit more then what I'm going to do is I'm going then I'm going to change the colors inside the material now look at this one now the selected one let's make sure we can see it here yeah, that's it there right 
I am going to change the material that now come in here just change the color to something else maybe let's go for blue right that is fine select this one and change this to green and that is fine and what about this where is it does it over there I want to be able to see them uh, maybe change this to maybe okay that's fine and these other ones here I want this right in your face grab this there and just change the color of this as well to anything else maybe yellow all right there so let's run our program now there we go look at the colors change gradually look at that that is beautiful so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful C sharp tutorial of how to control material through the C sharp script bye for now